Hey folks, I'm John. I am Cunny. And this is We've Got Issues. Welcome. And what do we have, John, today? Tonight, we're talking about Swamp Thing, issue number 60. What's so special? Oh, suggested for mature outreaders. Yes. So, anyone under the age of three to leave the room? Uh, <laughs> so this used to be cla- uh, uh, tagged as sophisticated horror. This is like uh, before DC had their Vertigo line. Okay. Which is uh, basically their horror. It started out yeah, as their horror line. Mature, Anyways. Yeah. But uh, this is done by uh, written by Alan Moore. This is when he, Alan Moore was doing the Swamp Thing. Just on a quick side note, it was much classier. I feel that with Vertigo, DC went to horror as opposed to Marvel going to just violence with the Max series. Yeah. You know, I thought it was very classy of DC to go down a different road than violence. Like yeah, so did. late 80s, early 90s, yeah. they turned to... So they did... So like, Alan Moore kind of kicked it off and uh, with his Swamp Thing run... Which turned Swamp Thing into a completely different entity that it used to be. Mm-hmm. Like you're used to the uh, the, the film <laughs> Swamp Thing, I'm right? I'm used to that green motherfucker, yeah, in the cartoon as well, yes. And he's like, he's trying to, tr- always trying to get back to being human, right? Mm-hmm. So Alan Moore kind of did something entirely different. Like uh, the end of S- S- the saga of Swamp Thing, issue number nineteen, he was dead, and like that was the end of the series for a while. Then DC gave Alan Moore. Hey, do something with this. I don't know the whole story, but whatever. So uh, he turned what he did was he turned uh, Swamp Thing into an uh, pl- an Earth elemental. So it's not a man. He's not a. He found out he's not a man anymore. More of a godlike. So do you know how Swamp Thing was created, right? Like he had that that bomb explosion oh, in the yeah. lab, and he yeah. he falls into the into the swamp, and he, all the plants blah, 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 overtake him. And see what uh, have you ever heard of a planarian worm? <clears throat> Um, they chop up the worm and they feed it to the other worms and it can run the maze. Oh, I th- okay, yes. Okay, so, uh, like, uh, Swamp Thing's like that. The plants, like, with the growth serum he was working on, the plants rapid grew, ate his brain, and took it all his memories. That's why he talks really slowly, because he got brain damage. Oh. So, uh, the plants overtook him when he had, he was, like, losing his brain, his Cut. oxygen in his brain, Fight and blah, blah, blah. Me, okay. Even even like, they kind of made him slow talk in this in the movie too. Yeah, because he's got brain damage. So he's like, I'm gonna kill all you. What do you say? He's talking too fast. Nope, never gonna hear that. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so what Alan Moore did was turn him in. He he figured it out that he's not Alec Holland. That is that his name? I don't remember. I don't remember either. He's he's not that anymore. It's he's not. He's not man. that anymore. He's just a plant who thinks he's Alec Holland. And it turns out like the 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 Earth needed a champion, and he and. He's now the Earth Elemental. That's what Swamp Thing is. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so this issue, uh, yeah, we gotta. I need to, I need to uh, preface this because this issue is Swamp Thing's in space, and you might say, "What the fuck is Swamp Thing doing in space?" I, I'd say yes, I would say that. So I've been looking at this cover. Tell me about the cover. What the fuck's going on here? Okay, so uh, the the artist down there, uh, John uh, Tuttleman. Yeah, uh, he did. He did the artwork. So this is a weird sort of story how the, the artwork actually came. Some of the artwork came first, not all of it. So uh, he, he did these weird collage things. I don't know if you can, uh, I'll zoom in here because this is uh, you can tell like a lot of this is used, it's collage work with actual art. See, time pieces in the back. These like are actual photos taken. And um, like that's, a, I think that's a sculpture of Swamp Thing. The photo of of it taken and then blended into the artwork. That's There's crazy. Time pieces everywhere. Like once we get into the into it, you'll see what I mean. And but anyways, he created the artwork first, and then like Alan Moore saw it, and then he created a whole story behind what he saw, and then uh, John threw up some more images. Like those mm-hmm. the, those images came later. So like it's half like, half of it was done well, first so it's a really interesting story John brought the seed Alan saw it and it inspired Alan to yeah uh, create this and then he went back to John with it and John was like fucking cool let's do this yes exactly <laughs> in, a, in a dullard's way to okay so anyways so uh, that's what I'm taking I'm trying so Alan Moore turned Swamp Thing into a plant elemental yep. and uh, because he's a plant elemental he was a champion of Earth so um, he's off planet because uh, some one thing led to another, and his his girlfriend Abby, who was this white haired like or blonde hair, whatever you know that silver hair, mm-hmm. uh, she was she's in a relationship with Swamp Thing, and uh, the the plot of one of the comics goes she gets arrested in Gotham because she was fornicating with like a non human basically, mm-hmm. so Swamp Thing goes ape shit and takes over Gotham, 
Awesome. That's this. That's what happens here. Giant size spectacular. See, uh, number 53. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to flip through this. Uh, so Swamp Thing got pissed off that they arrested his uh, wife. I don't know what you want to call her. What do you, what do you, what do you call you know, bestiality when you bang an animal? What do you call when you bang a plant? Yeah, good question. Um, anyways, um, so he got pissed off and he, uh, he, he basically overgrew, he like, every plant in Gotham overgrew and he took over Gotham, basically. Is Poison Ivy involved in this at all? No. No, I'm saying in this issue at all? No, I'm surprised. No, yeah, I'm no. I'm surprised she's not like... He, oh yeah, he grows tubers that uh, are, are hallucinogenic, basically. Nice. Yeah. And they're, they're like yams, but not quite yams. Anyways, um, so the whole issue is uh, he's basically trying to get his wife back. Batman comes and tries to like beat him up, but he's a fucking earth elemental. He just regrows his fucking body. He doesn't... He, I mean, he... Uh -oh. Yeah, he just kicks the, the shit. Kicks the fuck with that bleeding bat. He kicks the shit out of Batman. So, like... Could he sense that he's not an evil entity, so that's why he let Batman live? Yeah, basically. Like, uh, he, he's do he doesn't want to hurt anybody, but he wants his fucking wife back. Yeah. So, anyways, like, this is like a giant size issue. I'm just flipping through it real quick. And, of course, yes. Uh, but, uh, so... Yeah. Oh. Recognize that? Yes, I do. It's your tattoo. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, giant redwood. Uh, anyways, um, splash page. Poorly edited, but whatever. Forget That's fine. Get that with these old books. Um, I know you're lucky to find some of these even digital digitally skinny. so anyways like there was a whole like I, I flipped past it but like they employ Lex Luthor that Tony Stark? Oh. to uh <laughs> to do something about it uh whatever I mean, it doesn't matter so like they like uh, they re they end up releasing Abby and uh they're united and then like uh they're sh they Lex Luthor devised this thing where like they shoot Swamp Thing with it and then he can't communicate with the plant life of Earth anymore because that's what his consciousness communicates with the plant life and he can transport his transport his body. Well, they they like augment his rhythm so he can't communicate with Earth's plant life anymore and um, yeah, so they shoot him and uh, then they napalm him. Yeah, let's mm, fucking yeah. shit. Yeah, load the napalm. <laughs> So uh, then they destroy his body. So uh, they think they killed him. What of really? They think they killed him. What really happened was uh, he shot himself into space, and uh, you don't see that until like two issues. Uh, like yeah, two issues later, the next one deals with Abby dealing with oh Swamp Thing's dead, and then Swamp Thing uh, is in. Uh, my blue heaven. <laughs> oh, nice. So he, he he jumps to a world that's just blue plant life, and this is a really weird issue. Anyway, so Swamp Thing's in space, and this is how Swamp Thing got into space. Now we know he's in space, and wh why he's in space, and now let's talk about this one. Why this issue so fucking s fucking weird? So we talked about why it was how it was created, and uh, but like this is unlike any other comic I've ever fucking read before. Here's the opening line. Oh, they're like fucking Metroid enemies. Oh yeah, yeah. Check it. Check out these like. Yeah, you can see the. Uh, Shrooms. Anyway, look like hummingbirds and shit. Mm. Opening line. Quiet, my small. Still your tongue. Space is all. Space is cold. You are warm. You are young. Space is old. Sleep and form. Sleep and form. So it's it starts out in a poetic manner. I I like that. And then it like a uh, it goes into like um like a. This is an alien talking to it. You can tell it's an alien talking to its young. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, what the hell's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's, uh, say, it's, you know, like, it's giving, like, background and, uh, I don't know if I, I don't even, I don't want to read this. Heritage? Yeah, yeah, you get a little bit of background or, like, uh, what the hell, like, a. Uh, what disturbs you is it the dream drones that flutter by your cradles, feeding you their cool nectar of intelligence, the chemo structure of each gleaming head encoded with oceans of knowledge, their narrow beaks dripping with algebra, cybotany, and a cascade of excellent languages. Surely they do not keep you from slumber. It's just like this, these, this, those are weird, like, a, you know, you, you get those words, but mm -hmm. like cybotany, that you can grant that, that that's probably plant. Plant, uh, plants, botany, cybernetic, by yeah, cybernetic plants. type plants, yeah. right? So, uh, yeah. So, 
as we go on, we find out this story is called Loving the Alien. Loving the Alien. We'll get to why you said it like that, I guess. <laughs> so, I, I'm wondering. Awesome! That'd be a cool tattoo, like a moon with Swamp Thing in it like that. Yeah, so the, the art for this is just one of the, the, the best draws. The so uh, so this we get, the story begins, and this is how, this is what the alien looks like. This is the alien, basically. And these are... It looks like a little bit of all kinds of... These are the stuff. male forms of the alien. That's the female form of the alien. So, sperm... Like, you can see the Nautilus shell mm -hmm. worked into the artwork, the time pieces, and... It also looks like a tower, like maybe like a space station on mm. one part. Yeah, 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 It's yeah. a bunch of stuff, living and non-living, it looks like, together. Mm. Yes, organic and inorganic, mm. melded together. Cybotany, perhaps? Oh, maybe. Uh... So this, like, basically, so uh, this tells you how how they're formed and stuff. Like, um, then you will know the ecstasy and the great heat of fusion. The one whose flesh is as your own. You will know the melancholy pride which comes with your first pods. Glass bulbs at first, smooth and cold, softened by the fungies, the fungoid, the fungoid circuitry, and swiftly covers them. It swiftly covers them. This, like, everything is done very poetically, and it's, he chooses the perfect words. It's not like just want to throw some fucking sentences mm. in the boxes. This is some beautiful shit right here, man. You will know what it is to be loved and to be a mother. Until then, you must wait. Oh, so you basically, it's t yeah, it's uh, also talking to its... Apparently this race only has one daughter. Like, one daughter and a bunch of males, and uh, oh, yeah. man, she's passed around. And I waited. After some time, I was expelled from my mother's womb of iron and cellulose, spat far into the great black outside that is everything to await my first lover. And I waited. And I waited. Uh, so basically, waited a very long fucking time. What in the fuck is that down there? That down there? All Those that. are aliens. Uh, so some weird. took me for a planet, an uncharted solar satellite that they might strip of ore, for, or infest with their overspill of, of their populations. Asterix unclaimed. Mm -hmm. Some perceiving the intricacy of my cyber structure concluded that I was perhaps a ship, a giant engine of war that could be tamed, turned to their, turned upon their enemies. All of them perished, their chariots and their corpses ground between the gears of biological processes incomprehensible to them, slaughtered by lumbering metal antibodies. That's fucking sweet. Their flesh was not as mine. Could not fuse with them. From their remains, I abstracted that what minerals I could, absorbing them into my own mass. That which I could not ingest decomposes yet within my endless intestinal passageways. This is fucking brutal. And, and I wept for them, dude, and this for is myself. So fucking brutal. And I waited. Oh man. But yeah, fucking. And I wept for them. I wouldn't be surprised if this was one of the ones that came after the fact. I'm gonna fucking story. take from this and write a couple of fucking metal songs for my new metal oh. band. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Bill Old Rip ads. Oh, look at this shit, dude. Just like the real thing, only smaller NPC models. <laughs> Get the pussy. Look, it reminds me of those old like pot like uh, like the the kids uh, like you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, like, I know exactly. The it's drug like, things yeah. and Johnny likes to roll a fatty or blah, blah, you know no, what I'm talking about. Johnny, oh, no. This is one of those one images I think came first. Like I swear, to, if we uh, flip that upside down, you can definitely see the the face of Swamp Thing there. Oh, if yeah, it's yeah. if it's not legible there. Mm -hmm. So this one uh, in the lonely dark, a fear gnawed upon me, and my race grown fewer across the millennia, so that no boy seed remained to find me. Had my own brothers perished, search hopelessly for another island that no longer existed. I ground my continents together in a terrible, bitter frustration. I begged whatever forces there might be that I should not drift for eternity, never knowing love, never knowing fusion. I waited for their reply. <laughs> and I waited. Oh, so then sh uh, she finally encounters Swamp Thing. Okay. My remote sensors. Yeah, yeah. Blows, I mean, that blah, doesn't blah, sound blah. so polite as the rest of it seems. Okay. Do you, uh, want, do you want to read all that? Mm, not particularly. Uh, basically, <laughs> it's, it's all the same. It's, very poetic, and I, I love it. Let me run through it. I can do it quick. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> and yet there seems something curious and rare in that swirling pattern of energies. Some fascinating singularity. Visually, no physical form could be perceived. No roaring alien craft approaching. And yet my needles danced and trembled in their dials as they recorded each pulse, each fierce surge of its energy. Ordinary vitality. 
whole oh, extraordinary vitality. Fuck, I almost cut it. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. This is fucking intense, dude. This a is blazing like awesome. star. Such a good that story. Burn no visible spectrum. A swam towards me across the great black outside. That is everything. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Upon my hide, a hundred geysers were silenced. A thousand streams ran dry as I held my breath. So remember, a sw Swamp Thing has to basically project his consciousness across the ether of that is space. The great black outside that is everything. I love that. It's crazy. That's actually very close to what Cord Wainer Smith used oh, to call it. Oh, it's Thanos! Oh, yeah. Fucking... Yeah, you can definitely see I'm Swamp Thing I'm coming for you, Avengers. Sorry. Treated by this invisible interloper, my optic display rippled mad lights and agitated brilliance that flashed from screen to screen, finding nothing, while all the time I felt that spectral fireball cracking nearer and nearer, white, hot, and spitting. This is very sexual, too. Oh, yeah, we haven't even gotten there yet. Oh, uh, boy, I can't wait. <laughs> I think we're going to read everything. I just thought the opening pit was pretty cool. Pits, campies, two burning wounds in the darkness of their surround. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, basically, she, uh, she got an image in her head, or whatever passed for her head, like, you know. The, yes. I, you you, you got a vision of Swamp Thing from, from the, uh, the vision faded almost before it had formed, the intelligence behind it. it. Entering root clusters and cogs, deep cables, my substance like grounded lightning. Mm. Damn you. Almost sublim subliminally, I noted there was a fold in the fabric of time at this juncture. I knew that some point in the future would find me performing a chrono fracture, but this minor revelation was driven from my mind as my probes grasped blindly for the tangible evidence of the intruder. There was none. The intruder possessed no body. He was a ghost. A ghost that swam through clockwork. Oh, boy. Those tingler insides. Yep. Then we got a good splash page. I love this Whoa, fucking thing. Oh, look at like, that. You can definitely see Whoa. the gear shit in... Chains. And Swamp Thing in the bubble... And the fucking <sighs> weird hands. Is that supposed to be a pelvis? Back it up. Look at that. I think it's a pelvis bone. Where? That hole above his hand. The pink stuff. Look back. Those two oh, black holes. Oh, yeah, yeah, back yeah. Up. I think it's a pelvis. Oh, you see the, the face right behind the, the Holy thumb claw? Holy fuck, yeah. And the baby head right there? Yeah, that's crazy. With the, with the blue. Uh, the fuck, dude, they're picking all kinds of shit up now. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, a lot of collage work went into this. And like, oh, is that another Down pelvis there, I bone, think, I too? think that might be the top, or the bottom of the spine, where the, where the ribs kind of... Mm. Jesus Christ, it's like this a fucking so cool. Joe Coleman painting. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> Anyways, um... Sorry, back to the story. Confused, grasping at the Quicksilver intelligence with clumsy fists of neural receptors, I felt again the cold splash of alien consciousness as it surfaced thoughts and buried memories washed over me. Hmm. Hmm. Trying a fluorescent map. Blah blah blah. Uh, anyways, strangler or a stranger? I don't know. I'm gonna go with strangler to make me happy. Fucking choking somebody out. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, my cables. Oh yeah. So Swamp Thing's basically forming a body of what he can. Yeah. Um, the gro ghost was growing a body, a sentient tumor from my the substance of my own. Nine of my twelve vocal strata rose to ultrasonic as I began to scream, and the ghost screamed with me. From the panic and disorientation that clattered from his mind, it was evident that the form he found himself incarnated within was no shape that he ever anticipated or conceived of. The slatted veins of my photosynthetic reactor cast rolling hyphens of colored highlights across the glass exoskull blossoming from his <coughs> Glinted from the slowly rotating watchwork of a nipple, sparked upon the articulated hypodermics of his talons like rapid coded speech signal la lanterns. Fully formed now, he twisted and writhed in the stripped light and fabulous and agonized metal structure, suddenly made animate. He was beautiful, he was other, he was of my flesh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. So. Calculator, right. or something. I have to think about something before I babble on it. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we'll go. I'm going to bring it up in a minute. Or a little later, I guess. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's a fucking calculator. Mm -hmm. Calculator. I fucking retarded. How should I say it? How shall I describe this effect? This last bare fact worked in me. He was of my flesh. I was melted by the implications. Yes. Yes, that was it. Melted. Not for my body. That was not melted, save for 
the unchanging magma boiling ceaselessly around my nuclear core. Not my body, but rather my mind. My psyche structure, myself. Myself, what is melted. All the precisely indexed data sucked greedily from the computer systems of a thousand doob alien vessels. All my art, all in science and neurosynthetics and logarithms and signs. The very formula of what I am melted. As if all the electric vapor of my knowledge had condensed, distilled itself back into that trickling nectar that my mother's drones had fed me in the pod. In my, in my rapture, all of my numbers became liquid. I confessed I quite forgot the intruder. Further this, I forgot to stop screaming. Confused and physically discomforted by my ultrasonics, he ran, lost within a brass honeycomb of service ducts before I could recover myself. Oh, more ads. Ah, back to the slow it down. Back Anyways. in the days, when the good died young, they were the only chance we had. Ugh. The fuck? I the young Ulsters. DC Comics were never my... Ugh. Regular comics. Did no. you have a, have a thought you wanted to go through before D we get go on? DC, uh, on what, what's going on yeah. so far? <sighs> the, the, uh, man, I I'm, I just I want to wait to see what happens before I jump to any conclusions. Yeah, I, I don't want to I don't want to jump to any conclusions yet. Okay. Yeah. Sounds I'm, good to I'm, me. I'm holding on to that nope. one. Free DC comics. What? Fucking let's sign up. Look, look. All you gotta put is fucking nine dollars per title. Two for subscription and ten for Canadian orders. Jesus Christ! Fucking Jesus! They don't. Nobody likes Canada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, back to the story. Ah. So basically, uh, Swamp Thing is getting it, trying to get the hell away or something. It took it, only instance for me to tr to triangulate his vitality signals, but by then he had reached the central knot of a transportation matrix used by my maintenance oh, drones. Sorry. Whoa! I think I'm tripping. From the eye of look at this page, it looks like I'm tripping. Mm. That's what I see. From the eye of this gigantic and abstract web, spatial wormholes. Spatial. Sp ah, spatial. Spatial. I'm fucking retarded. Spatial wormholes board their various ways to the ultimate reaches of my body, the ice fields of my breast, the whirlpool haunted ocean of my brow, and the desert of my belly. Gotta get it. Yeah. Desert. Yeah. Peeling back lids of circuit laced cellulose from the. Photosensitive steel of new eyes he watched in terror and fascination as my drones dug finger skewers of white gold into the soft plant flesh of their abdomens. Cold hands glistening wet, groping amongst their intestines to reset, recalibrate, alter coordinates before entering the pulsing aperture of their choice and vanishing, simply vanishing. Hoping to recapture him while he stood rooted. This is fucking crazy. I'm sorry. I just keep reading. With the incomprehension, I extended eager magnetic digits with rippling fingerprints, tendrils that reached, snatched at him, were too slow. In his retreat from the clutching, shimmering fields of force, he stepped into the wormhole and was gone, tumbling without coordinates towards a random destination. I hoped it was not the magma, or worse yet, the core. Like, uh... They look like guitars. Yeah, that looks like a fucking guitar. Yeah, that actually just you know what that looks like? If you like, it looks like a lounging, uh, like like he's you picture him on a fucking like chair. Oh yeah, so, yeah. But if you look at it, it almost looks like Jesus. Like there's like a halo around his head and it'd be hair and shit. And look, I'm just missing my jaw. <laughs> so uh, to sum up, Swamp Thing stepped into a wormhole. She got wormholes as tra transportation systems within her. For her drones, and that's what Swamp Thing stepped into, and he's lost, or at least she lost for a little bit. Oh, let's look at the artwork first. Yeah, this is a camera. Or cameras and timepieces, and mm -hmm. like a, there's Swamp Thing again. Looks like a looks like a, a mirror image of the other one. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. Interesting. If you turn it sideways, it looks like a circus tent. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Almost like a tent of oh, yes, yeah. I see. Yeah, I see. there's a fly. I didn't notice that was a fly. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's so fucking cool. When you turn pages sideways, you get interesting things. It changes everything. Mm. Everything so, changes. Oh, yeah, she's trying to locate green tinted rootscapes and complex scanning. Blah, blah, blah. So let's root back into the story. So basically, up to this point. She's kind of... He's, like, evading her on on her own yeah. body. Yeah, basically. Okay. 
which would tell me that she's not linked into every single inch of her being. Uh, well, I, I'd imagine there's like parts of you you can't reach, right? That's very true. Across a great pool of mercury, a skin parasite fluttered lazily, one strained glass wing tip idly, slicing the lake's surface, yet leaving no scar in the heavy silver liquid. Scenting the defenseless intruder adrift in his freefall bedlam, it glided towards him, whisker filaments twitching thirstily. He prepared to jump, to abandon his new flesh, his new world, to abandon me, to leave me alone again. I could not permit that. Oh boy, here we go. She's gonna get all fucking misery on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that collage. I love that, like, zipper in the back. Zipper. All I can think about is, like, fucking pink. Does that look pink. like a head to you right there? It does. Or? If you turn it, I bet it would be. Uh, kind of. Anyways. <laughs> Whatever. All I can think about is the beginning of fucking time, Pink Floyd. <laughs> a bunch of TikTok and It shit. was narrowly timed. He had already given up his body, resuming the untouchable mantle of his ghost form. And if my move were delayed even by an instant, his intelligence would be gone. Parsecs away in a single beat of my atom heart. I could not, would not lose him now. I performed a chrono fracture. The time tower supplied all the data necessary to make the incision. The stress points in the chrono flux, the place where I could exert gentle pressure, carefully tearing through the skin of time so that I might surgically alter and reset its bones. As a time wound opened, even the intruder's ethereal form could not escape the howling draft of the tachyon wind, screaming through the aperture, and out of that moment into another, it sucked him shrieking in its wake out through the rent in this flimsy curtain separating now from then. And we get Suicide Squad. Ugh, so who do they got on this fucking team? Oh, Mind Boggler, Bronze Tiger, Plastique, I don't know fucking any of them. Uh, yep, yeah, Deadshot, Enchantress, uh, okay. Captain and, Boomerang. So those three. My son loves him from the movie. I go, why? Because he drinks a beer and everybody's fighting. I go, oh, that's so fucking cool. Ugh, they're, 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 that's enough of that garbage movie. Ugh. So, yeah, we had to get this. I see another, Swamp Thing. Yeah, another see. weird, another weird, uh... Background? Uh, yeah. Image, really. It's before from after. Neatly tying the loose ends of the self-fulfilling prophecy into the unfathomable knot of paradox... I deposited the intruder back at the point where I had noted the chrono fracture earlier. Caught by surprise in an event loop, the staggered and barely conscious intelligence once more sizzled down my stratosphere, bewildered lights dancing across my display, searching for a visible form, when there was none. Everything went as before, the shock of impact, the almost subliminal first glance of his features, the eerie moment when he revealed himself as a phantom, driving bodiless into the cold, oil-scented sea of clockwork, seeking refuge in a flesh-grown body. Flesh-grown... Fresh-grown body. Every he, he is a fucking vegetable, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh-grown. Everything went as before, except for the part I altered. Everything went as before, except for this time, I was waiting for him. In the time towers, the needles convulse once as I perform the chrono fracture, breaking the bones of time with exquisite care and subtlety. My cables unbidden knotted themselves into tendons, just as before. The scintillation mosses becoming flesh, just as before. After that, everything was different. His tumor body wrenched itself free from my cyber loam, snapping wires, trailing like ganglia. A rain of microchip soil falling as he uprooted himself, preparing to run. He was too late. My engines were already surrounding him, presenting faceless walls of frictionless steel, big and indifferent as buildings. A moving city of metal slid toward him, confining him. Poor thing that crouched in his perception of love and lust in such a soft and curvular imagery. Could he comprehend the tenderness in the hard geometric embrace tightening upon him? I like to think so. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. <laughs> In the blind facade, panels hissed open, leaking steam and viscous pearls of scented oil trembling on dilated lips of shutters. From these openings, tongues of thick cable darted, artificial light glinting violet on their lubricated steel jacketing. One found the intruder's ankle, one a thigh, yet another his shoulder, a fourth his wrist. As triple-jointed arms of filigree platinum unfolded themselves from niches in advancing walls and stretched inquiringly towards him. He could not move. His entire being, his strange and singular existence, rested wholly upon my whim. 
was at my disposal. For those moments, I owned his life and his death. I loved him for that. The platinum arm opened its fist and flexed scalped fingers. The first cut opened him from throat to abdomen. God damn. Yeah, god damn. Okay, so I thought so. This was, le- she fucking, she's raping him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I didn't tell you this is about the rape of Swamp Thing. All right, okay, enough. It's not enough that I have to swallow that, but it's, I was just <laughs> the thing. Early, I had a feeling it was leading up to this. <laughs> so earlier that you 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 made it a point to say, and of my flesh, the way you said that sentence. So essentially, this is rape and incest. Sort of. She's Swamp Thing's not technically re- well, related to the planet, but the flesh. It's was created. Well, like, think it's of you, her flesh. Well, yeah. Think if you ran into another human being out in your. I mean, uh, if there's just Adam and Eve, you're gonna have to fuck Eve. Yeah, but they're two different beings. My point well, is, like, no, he, actually, he, Eve was made from Adam. No, but I'm, I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm saying like, yeah, okay, I guess so. But if you believe that Adam and Eve shit, then we're all fucking. We're well, all she had to take what she would get. We're all incestual. Well, you'll find out it actually doesn't matter for this all race. Right, all right. It's so like, that's a big ass fucking metal vagina, though. <laughs> he began to gasp and shake. The cables that tied him creaking with strain. He cried to absent himself from the body, but the shield fields protected by my monolithic engines kept him caged there, unable to escape, unable to defend himself. How glorious he was as the pain grasped him by the base of his spine and shook him so that his upper body lashed back and forth in its bonds. The same intoxicating courtship movement that my mother had described in my own father, who of course I had never known. Priceless fingers began to peel away the metal epidermis, pinning the gleaming flaps back with the, with beads of solder, expanding a soft gray plant flesh beneath, small clamps tightening upon the lips of the wound. The noise that he made was distracting and might perhaps have spoiled the intimate and romantic ambience of our impending union. Therefore, I modulated my voice and commenced an audio loop of soothing sound patterns with subsonics that charmed and stupefied the recipient. After a few moments, the screams became low moans and he grew limp upon the torture harp wire that helped him. Hanging in submission, his struggles became gradually less frequent and Concealed speakers whispered their. What what is that? Anesthetic word? love songs. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. The principal engines moved upon slick bearings into the appropriate positions. As a first stroke of the cylinder heads drew home, he threw back his glass bubble head and was never more lovely than at that moment. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. I love this like whole page. Like it's beautiful. Like, there's hardly any words, but the words are there. Finally, when industry and joy and great noise, it was done. The splendid thing, the necessary action, the fusing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and we get ads. And these are a fucking... What the fuck are these? Secrets to becoming a real dynamite muscle man. <laughs> Try today. We're the one club to belong to that really do it for you. Only $10 for complete membership. Kit includes all the stuff you need to become awesome. In just a few short weeks, fully guaranteed. Pendulum Bodybuilding Club. The Bob Eight Seven Bath Beach Station. <laughs> P.O. Box Two Four Six, Brooklyn, New York One One Two One Four. These ads are fucking lip building muscles. <laughs> Eat a dick. Three my three three. What? what? Jesus Christ! How many of these are fucking build muscle ads? Jesus. Because oh, kids read them and go, "I'm gonna be big and strong." The superheroes in this. Well, the superheroes getting raped in this one. <laughs> he needs big muscles. Oh, Flash, where were you to say fucking? Go to space and say fucking, fucking swamp thing getting raped. What the fuck, Barry right. Allen, you piece of garbage. <laughs> so back to it. Uh, oh, what's happened to swamp thing? He's just frail and dumped him. He's just done fucking him. Fine bore needles of hollow diamond entering through his. Hey, I would have fucked. Gaping. Her. I would have fucked her willingly. I'm just saying. Gaping scream struck upwards through the roof of his mouth to fill his cranial cavity with acid. His dissolved brain in suspension was then drawn off by the same needle. The stamp of his unique intelligence etched upon each molecule. At the same time, my cold steel hands worked deep inside his chest, seeking those glands that would become engorged with vital enzymes during the time of unrelenting pain and terror. I liquefied his spine and neural cortex, siphoning the resultant soup 
away down midnight gullies and arteries of glass deep within me. I drank the wine of his intelligence, drunk his body, his pattern of cells. I ate his feet. F I ate his fear. I ate his agony. I ate his love. His love. His love. It's actually funnier if you have feet. <laughs> <laughs> right. His feet. Everything else is like emotional except for one thing. Like, what? His feet? Let me continue. Alan Moore had a foot fetish. Yeah, I, I like feet. <laughs> the rest I threw away, unraveling his body tumbled down the center well, past level after level, each strata more cryptic than the other one before. He fell past tubes of tinted crystal that were already sluicing his codes and his chemicals towards vats below, where they were analyzed, synthesized, mass produced, channeled along. You, uterine duct systems to be sprayed across my ova orchards in, in a fine and fertile mist. And there he is she again. She wants a cum shower. Yeah, basically. So, he fell past great industries of reproductive processes, his corpse unwinding into ungangly tangle of roots and wire, his consciousness withdrew. He fell past the depthless secrets of my entire race, their procreation to him, an unreadable manuscript illuminated by fabulous and baffling illustrations. In the hot house of my wombs, his children were blossoming. You were blossoming. <sighs> Your transparent pods hung trembling from my iron stems among the spiny husks of oler, unfertilized eggs, gleaming wet and triumphant and alive among those dry, dead failures. Some of the pods had rapidly acquired their fur of circuitry, twittering drones already floating towards them with cheeks puffed out and mouths full of genius. The ghost fell through the whispering prenatal twilight, a landscape we recall only in our saddest dreams. Then with, with a wrench he tore his intelligence free of his dismantled flesh and was gone. In his, in, in his time with me, I know not what he saw or how much he understood of it. If he understood that he was loved, that would, would be enough. Jesus, H. fucking Christ. A rapist with a weird, like, I love you, but I'm doing this because I'm fucking like, ah. Need. Needs must when the devil drives. <laughs> Yet if he could have lingered, could he have looked beyond in those chipped and crusted pod walls and seen you as I see you? Now these cross-section images that coalesced from phosphor dots ricocheting among the latticed rods and cones of my... Renal, retinal plate. Yeah. Uh, you can read the rest if you like. If he could have seen you, the delicate mainsprings of your tiny spines, the infinitesimal cortical clockwork, if he could have seen you, would he have any facet of himself reflected? The darkness of your eyes, perhaps, so like his own? The curve of your shoulders, not yet born and already weary to the world? Would he have allowed himself to see these things? Have confessed to the slightest inherited resemblance? Oh, suck. Fucking look at that. Look, let's go to the art for a second. Look at that shit. It kind of looks like a like, a, like a, 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 a boy. A little, you know what I'm saying? Mm, like a, yeah. The head, the mechanical head. And yep. It's fucked up. Little tail. <laughs> <laughs> Could he have loved these lukewarm, peculiar little creatures? These fetal bio... Uh, Automata. Automata? You, his children? Could your father have loved you? Yes. Yes, in time I am certain of it. But he had to go away. Ah, more ads. Two free minds, fucking killer. Except no fucking Wonder Woman or Green Lantern. <laughs> away into the great black outside, that is everything. <laughs> Anyone say that? <laughs> Continuing his interrupted, imponderable quest towards an unguessable destination. My surface lenses tacked the burning green star of his discarnate intelligence as it sparked up through the thin perfume of my atmosphere. My orbiting monitor globes tracked his cometry into the blackness with eyes that saw far beyond the merely visible, watching unblinkingly as he was gone from all perception. And that is the story of my small ones, of how a barren island called upon the forces that be to end her loneliness and how the universe responded by delivering her the successor of a ghost, and the story of the grand miracle of the mother whose children were conceived of no tangible father, flesh of no flesh save her own. You drift and dream, wait to enter the world 
progeny of an invisible god, your legend will be resounded down the millennia amongst our kind. Awaiting your glorious coming, I tremble. Soon you will be grown, ready to be flung out amidst the unfriendly stars. Already I feel a slow chain reaction escalating by degrees within my nuclear core. When the day has come, the force of my explosion will catapult you into the deep void in your separate destinies. And that final white hot instant, I shall be glad, fulfilled beyond measure. I knew my fate from the first, my mother's fate before me, that fate sealed by love. That is a universal truth, known to the humblest of protozoa. Sex is death. The two are ever intertwined. But you need not think of such things now. The fires of your nativity are still some years away, and for that time of gestation I shall be with you. The fires of your adolescence, though fierce, are more distant still. The future will take care of itself. For the present, your mother is old. Your mother is tired. Her rivers are barely strong enough to struggle downstream. She must rest now. Just rest. Quiet, my small. Still your tongue. Space is all. Space is cold. You are warm. You are young. Space is old. Sleep and form. Sleep and form. Aw, oh, shit. What's funny is I read that the first time it appeared, and you read it the second time it appeared. That was pretty fucking cool. Yep, and there she is again. Look at that. But Bear yeah. Bam, I'm going to find some old dick. I'm going to have some old kids and shit. Swamp <laughs> thing. Uh, swamp things. So let's read some of these fucking letters. Well, I just said, uh, uh, John, uh, like, madly in love with blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, John used collage consisting of everything from actual watch parts and chains down to photographs of Swamp Thing sculpture he molded. As to the genius of the story, well, that's, another, say, another whole other story itself. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, I, I did you ever read the letter columns? Every once in a while. Um, certain comic books, like if you read Swamp Thing, if you read Hell, Hellraiser, <laughs> uh, it was imperative to read the, the letter columns because they always had very intelligent fucking people writing in and whatnot. Hmm. Oh, yeah, even more fucking ads. Oh, I bet you... Fucking bet you bite a chip. Chip. Oh. Let's do the. No, let's not do Fuck that. Oh, bonkers. Shit. I miss I, bonkers. I love these. Do bonkers chewy candy plus the ugly balls. Bring back bonkers, damn uh, it. Ugly balls were the best. So, uh, I, I, I had to find the, uh, the, the comic. This is issue number 65, I believe. It takes a while for them to, like, get letters in about mm -hmm. the issues. But, like, uh, this is, like, the, uh, the one that. Or is this? No, I'm sorry, this is 64. So that was a, this is the one Alan Moore took his leave. He only did uh, up to issue 64, and this is like uh, Alan Moore's letter to uh, the fans, I guess. Oh, well, super long. Goodbye. Yeah, it's super long. I just put that in for shits and gables for my own amusement. But, like, this is uh, issue 65, and this one talks about, like, everybody's basic reaction. And uh, also gives you how it was, like, um, how it was, like, made and shit, uh, this the story behind how it was made. It's in one of these uh, responses, I believe. They can... Uh, well, it's a good because you've covered, like, a whole... People can, like, slow it down and stop yeah. and read most of this. If they really want to. Yeah. But, no, this is probably, like... I love the Alan Moore run of the Swamp Thing. It's fucking phenomenal. But this is probably the best one out of all of them it's like the most poetic and it's the most strange it's the weirdest fucking issue ever I mean Jesus look at the splash page I know it's crazy I love this shit but yeah I, I fear not a lot of people read well not everybody reads the Swamp Thing because it's like one of those non-superhero DC comics yeah and it's this is like from 80, 88, 89 something like that 87 <laughs> so um not a lot of people... Oh, did you notice, like, this This image is sort of the negative of, yeah. of one of the, the previous ones? Um, no, I did not notice it was a negative. I just did it. Oh, of like, a previous sort one. of. Oh, sort yeah. Sort of, like, not exactly a negative, but sort mm -hmm. of. So this is when they the for, the image gets into the head and then, like, the, the chrono fracture happens and stuff. Ooh, yeah. But, yeah, like, this was, like, one of the most phenomenal issues of Swamp Thing. And so, unfortunately... Yeah, I'm fucking impressed. This is crazy. I never knew this existed. Yeah. 
rape. <laughs> the rape of Swamp Thing. Swamp, you can't say it's man rape. Swamp Thing's not really a man. He's just a thing. Mm. Swamp Man? Nope. Sorry, Swamp Thing. Yep. But yeah, good job, Alan Moore. And oh, beautiful job, Alan Moore. John Tottleben. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's how you pronounce Tottleben. it. Tottleben. I think it's Tottleben. Man. Maybe two T's for Tottleben. Look at that eye. It's looking right at you. Great cover art, too. Yeah, beautiful. Nonsensical, but beautiful. <laughs> So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, folks. Yes, please, please. Subscribe. Subscribe, definitely check out our... We do other videos. Yeah, um, gameplay. Gameplay. And trailers. Um, it, yeah, we should just check everything out and subscribe yeah. and go on Facebook to Horrible Podcast. And you should like that and you share it on your page and have your friends share it. And have them, those two friends share and, and those, those two, friends. two friends. And those two friends and so on. <laughs> And so on. Oh wait, this is fucking. This is the second Wayne's World reference, not the, but but the second. It's it's the first one recorded. Yes, the first one recorded. We had that early one earlier. Jeez. Not. All right. <laughs> we'll see you later, folks. Bye now. We you should watch. It's called uh, Fudo: The New Generation. It's by the same guy who did Audition. But this isn't like a fucked up like horror film. This is like a hilarious yakuza movie. Really. And fucked up too. Oh wait, I think you started. To sh you showed me some of that. Like, uh, did I show you the, the stripper girl with the uh, the shooting darts out of yes. her cooch? Yes.